Well, my name's Jerry Adams. Uh, I first met John Hume way back in 1980 during the first hunger strikes. And then when I became Oak on Sinn Féin in 1983, we used to meet during debates where both of us argued our respective party uh, positions. But we only developed a, a real relationship in 1986 when Father Alex Reed and Father Des Wilson, but Father Alex Reed in particular, uh, invited John and I together to have private talks. And uh, we met in Clannard Monastery in Belfast. It, it was a very good first meeting. I, I found John just down to earth, straightforward. Uh, and we went on to meet privately for seven years. And I've often reflected uh, you know, how long that process was because from 86 to the Good Friday Agreement, uh, which was in 98, we, we continued to meet, but particularly during that first private uh, phase. I used to travel up to Derry, meet him at home. Pat was usually there with a cup of tea. And I uh, also met him in Greencastle. And again, Pat was always welcoming, always very down to earth and straightforward. Occasionally I would have brought uh, an apple cake or a, a wheaten scone or a bonnock. And uh, I, found, I found John in relation to what, what we were trying to do uh, really true to the broad principles which we were developing. And in essence what they were about was that the people of the island would decide our own constitutional future. That was the, the broad summary of what later emerged as the, the Hume Adams Agreement. And that inadvertently became public. And then of course the world landed on John Hume. The invective from the Dublin establishment, from the London establishment, from the, the media was relentless, vicious and totally and absolutely uh, wrong. And to his great credit, uh, and I don't know if he could have done without Pat, but to his great credit, he, he rose above all of that. He, he stayed true to the broad elements that we had been uh, working on. Uh, he, he, of course, was keeping the government's brief uh, about what was, what was going on. And, uh, you know, thankfully, we had him. There would not have been a peace process without him. Remember, uh, the, 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 the establishment parties, the British government and the Irish government, were uh, refusing to talk to Sinn Féin, and John did the sensible thing. Uh, and, and, and he knew from his neighbours and his neighbours' children and from where he grew up and from the area that he represented. And he had a, he had a, he had a dairy person's sort of gra just for chat and talk and, and so on. So my, my uh, debt is, is, is to the two of them. They were a very formidable uh, partnership. Uh, F Father Reid quite rightly had a, a, a great word for Pat Hume. And I used to talk to Pat sometimes when John wasn't there inadvertently. But Father Reid would have deliberately went to talk to Pat to, to get her on the inside line and to brief her up or to give her whatever scale he had about what was uh, going on. So I, I, I think this little island of ours is much, much better for their contribution. And uh, Nive Alahad Arish on.